Hey ho, what's up players, Venture here. Today, we, well, this is the whole aftermath of that whole battle at the Institute, yada yada yada. But, uh, I'm a little tired, but, okay. Basically, I did a little bit of grinding afterwards off screen. I'll admit, I started a little bit on its two particular, on three, on two particular DLCs a little early. But I'll show the rest of the content, don't worry. But behold, you may be wondering, where the hell am I? What is this rather comfy abode? Let's take a look. Yep, this is the Red Rocket gas station. But higher? Yeah, let's take another look outside. Oh, by the way, my power armor is up here too. I may as well take out the fusion core just for extra security measure. Oh yeah, look at this brand new sucker. The house is complete! Sort of! I also got a fusion core here too. And this is a uh, better wave emitter or whatever it's called. It's for when I capture, catch a dead death claw. But lo and behold. Yeah, you may also notice the house doesn't really have, like, any structure underneath at all. Like, it's just floating there. I plan to fix that somehow. The key word here is somehow, because everything I've been trying hasn't been working yet, which is kind of depressing, but eh, only so much I can do. Either way, let me give you a little tour. Level 2 would just be directly under the house. I'm not sure if I'll just leave this empty, but I do plan to put some kind of supports or whatever around here. Somehow. How yet, I'm trying to figure out, but... Actually, move... We already seen four floors, so I won't show that separately. Floor three is mainly incomplete. As you can see, the lights are all the way around, but that's because I ran a ceramic, so I can't just, like, wrap the wires all the way around to make more light, but you can see this is essentially the workstation area. You got your Nuka Mixer station right here, you got your chemistry station, weapons workbench, oh, I'm gonna move this a bit back. This is our armor workbench. I plan to make this more like a chill relaxation area. I guess I'll show full floor again. Floor four. Essentially a similar loadout. It's rudimentary right now. I got a bed, got a little radio right here, to the Diamond City. And I got a little cooking stove over here. This is essentially going to be the actual house. And as you can see here, I have my Chinese stealth armor in display. I can always take it out if I want to, but I really haven't found a need. And then you see I got two different weapons up here. This, by the way, is the automatic um, laser musket. It didn't really get a name, surprisingly. So I just decided to call it the Vit Vitry Special. <laughs> and then this one is... I'm sure you... S guys seen on that stream with the out with that um death claw right the alpha death claw you know um that was all the way around this area or whatever this is basically oh i almost forgot I, dumbass me i need to advertise this hang on i'll be right back folks it won't take too long
Okay. Got that posted. Now, yeah, I plan to upgrade this thing eventually, but this is more of like a display, if anything. <laughs> But yeah. Got a nice little patio up front too, right here. Nice place to take a chill, relax, rest and relaxation. Look at that view. It's amazing, isn't it? Either way. Probably sleep in a bed for a little bit. Don't know why I have a plastic plate in that thing. Nick is randomly looking at my power arm. And how did they get up here? Whatever. Either way. We gotta make our way to Vault 88. Wait, I got my all my junk deposited, right? No, wait. I gave it all to Nicky Boy. Hey, there's something you need? Hey, go on. Sure you got a thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> oh. I like how we're both just standing there at the same time. Okay. I went to this hallucinogen building recently. You guys probably may have saw it on my Twitter. Or maybe not. I'm not too sure. What? Okay, I'm too used to going down... Oh yeah, I put the robotics workbench in here. I don't know why. It takes up so much room. Anyways. Let's make our way to the... Uh Bruh, get your ass down from there. You're gonna get crushed, you idiot. Anyways. I a shame don't have elevator doors, but uh, whatever. What was I gonna do again? Oh. We can keep traveling as much as you want. I don't require sleep or food in order to survive. Jackson ensured I was well built for travel. His modifications will be adequate for quite some time. It's astounding how much we still have to discover out here. It's astounding how much we still have to discover out here. I got all the ingredients for that. It's astounding how much we still have to discover out here. Gotta make some more drugs. Of course.
It's astounding how much we still have to discover out here. I gotta sell some stuff the and make some money, but eh, I don't worry about that till later. Wealth can take a real toll on you if you let it. Read that boogeyman banished thing. See, this place make monster is out of men. for scrap in the greater clinic what There it is.
Okay, next we gotta make a I should have brought the wood. I borrowed some wood from Vault 88 to make the house to begin with, but I guess I forgot to return it. <sighs> I'm an idiot at times. I'll do it next time. And there's two more. You gotta get dressed too, pal. I'll do it I'll later. I'll do well. Promise. Finally, Vault 88's work can truly begin. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. Vault Tech scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good with chemistry. What? Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just... special chemicals. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. It's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Maintaining Clem's trust isn't the focus of these experiments. Our collective welfare is. So build the soda fountain, and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. Watch, I'm probably gonna eat the wood. Dude, be glad you guys even have food. Please let there be a generator I can make, yes. Now we're going to do this safe way.
Okay. Like accidentally disconnected briefly, but yeah. have to go right up to the damn screen because these things are tiny. Okay. Then let's see which one is help is better. R and D. No. Mood enhancer? Yeah, no. Generic caffeination. <sighs> I like this one, and I like Ted. But yeah, we do need better food here. Let's see if we can plant some shit in this questionable ground. Nope, absolute shit. I'll take a quick um soda fountain open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I'm I guess assigning so. someone to this. All the soda you can drink. Yeah, you can use it. Yeah. I need to assign someone to this. Mm, wow. That's good stuff. Make sure to come back! So damn hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink. The thing about this vault is it's expansive as freaking hell. It's easy to get lost in here, honestly. <sighs> Should put up some defenses against gunners.
The soda fountain shows enormous potential. Now, the reason I'm doing these quests first is because I can get a unique You're vault a jumpsuit vault? that I can upgrade. <laughs> Why blue? I mean, would a yellow jumpsuit really be that bad? You here to check up? I got a customer right here. Want some more refreshment? Mm, what the heck's in that? I had a Nuka Cola once. This stuff. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Indeed. Hi. Caffeine. Well, it does improve productivity. But really, and together with the dubious success of the power cycle, I really am beginning to question your commitment to the project. But you can still redeem yourself. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. But that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. I could see needing to strike a different balance here. Is that a twinge of misguided conscience? You should work on suppressing that. So, enter the Vault-Tec Foraptor. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. Well, that's but good. potentially so much more. Oh, the no. prototype requires a bit... Well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. Where am I going to get that much nuclear material? You're in luck. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside. Oh, the I already got all that. So, dig deep. And get what we need. Excuse me. I cannot wait to see how the Foraptor turns out. I cannot wait to see how the Foraptor turns out. No. You should have seen it. We cut those raiders to pieces. I doubt they'll be back. The Foropter prototype. Holy crap, it needs 25 nuclear material for that. Before we continue, let's, um... Let's actually build some more floors. If I can remember what the hell... need a lot more than this? Absolutely, but hey, we're building a vault here, people. It's going to take a long time before this is built up to its fullest. So for now, these p vault dwellers will have to accept this for now. Anyways, let's help their eyesight, I guess. At least these people had a whole bunch of small generators and 
dock for some reason or another. Well, looks like it's gonna need two of them. Corruptor experiment. Oh my god, so I literally have to walk up close to this green is tiny. They could at least let you craft normal looking terminals at the very least, and you can actually read this shit. So I'm supposed to read this shit. I'm even having to push out my TV a bit because I can't see this shit at all. There we go. Let's see. Subliminal messages. Yeah, no, that's basically hypnotized. Hypno. Hell fucking no. I don't like this one even more. Yeah, no, I'm not having people read my mind. Improved eye care. <laughs> Simple synopsis of this experiment. <laughs> I'm beginning to like this Ted. His team made a better tool for optometrists everywhere. That's it. Nothing else. Please, please process my request to reassign his whole team somewhere far away and cold. <laughs> I like Ted. They should have let Ted run a vault. Just happy to be here. Looks like we have our first patient. Yeah. Before we begin, Clem, uh, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're... all right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? I... Uh, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Hi! You here for an eye exam with the for... With this thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. Oh, I guess you can't. I was gonna remove that sign that somehow got there, but okay. So what do I do? Just stay still. So I just see. Yeah, yeah. The machine will do the rest. This thing's creeping me out. All done. It says you got a uh, um, minor eye in. Done. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it. Nothing else. No, Lady Overseer. Exams all done. <laughs> so strange having people about. I want to trade a few things. So strange having people about. Can we trade a few things? I'm take so it. strange having people about. Oh, I gotta talk to her. I've never had an eye exam before. It wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff, anyhow? 
these experimental devices could make life better for everyone. Huh. No shit. I figured coming down here was too good to be true. But I might have misjudged you. Might tell my friends it's a good thing down here. Yay! Thanks. More vault dwellers! <clears throat> so one of our residents is happy. That's completely irrelevant. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. Instead, you spend your time pandering to their every whim. I'm improving people's lives. I'm not going to apologize for that. I just don't understand you. Please. Make this next one count. This last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Oh. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures, each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stab out these predilections and instead, harness them. What vices are you talking about? Well, greed. The Not schematic sure. is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters, and let's see how it fares in the field. We're about to level up too, which means I can get a new perk! Well, a few new perks actually. I made a list of perks that I need to get, like, in order to craft some more stuff, and a lot of them seem to involve the strength one for some reason. I need to get this one. Oh, and I need to get a sniper perk too, apparently. Somewhere. This one. So I have to um, build up my strength a little bit. Wait a minute, how, does that improve my carry weight too? Oh yeah, it does. I think. Yeah, it does. Oh, she's gonna be pissed. The reason I want to do this is because I can't remember if I can upgrade this particular vault suit, but this one is like a unique one, basically. A reward for completing all this. Oh, she's hate me for that. Slot machine experiment. Indentured servitude. Let's see what that horrible thing is. Oh, she didn't even put notes on this. Yeah, I don't like the indentured servitude parameter already. Customer profiling. I already don't like that.
lost revenue it is. <laughs> Go on, gamble. Come on, come on. Get, come on. I want to help you make some money, dude. Okay. Wait, where'd she go? She just straight up... Oh, maybe she went to sleep. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, she's gonna be so pissed. I just can't lose. Just taking a walk around the vault, baby. <sighs> I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore, but they sure bring in the business. <laughs> Like how we could just casually have multiple pit boys. <laughs> Honestly, from all the games though, I think this one's my favorite pit boy. Just a random fun fact for no reason at all. Mainly because it just. It's more practical, basically. Compared to, like, if you've seen the one in Fallout 76, it looks more junky and jury rigged almost. Kind of like this one. Looks more professional. And if I recall correctly, I think the one in Fallout 3 literally welds to your arm or something. I forget. And I think that's what it does? Let me Google that real quick. I think it does. It's called the Pip-Boy 3000. Fallout 3. Oh, and it's in New Vegas as well. That one's kind of a bit more rudimentary, though. And a bit more... not rudimentary, but... Uh. I don't think it does, actually. I guess my memory must be fucking with me. Oh, wait. It supposedly... Okay, so I guess basically, I, it can only be taken off by the vault, by the vault dweller, I guess, biometrically connected to it or something. You gotta try this, uh, this slot machine. 
It's the best. Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. That slot machine thing is a hoot. Thanks a lot for letting me try it, Lady Overseer. I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> I'm happy with how the machine turned out. You do realize the lost revenue parameter is revenue, <laughs> right? It's done. Finally. Hundreds of years of refining and planning. And it's an unmitigated disaster. Residents wasting time and valuable resources. But this place is the best, Lady Overseer. Everyone says so. You see, this... This is what you've done. Vault 88 was supposed to be magnificent. I cannot stand to be in this cheery purgatory you've concocted. Don't you see? All your prototypes worked. The people's lives are better. Is that even English you're speaking? What you say is nonsense. I take my leave of this wreckage you call a vault. I hope you get what you deserve. Overseer. <gasps> I'm an overseer. Oh, and I can upgrade it too. The Legend of Vault 88. Excuse me. Please, take care of the vault. Now, fun fact. Yes? She dies. Yep, she ends up dying later on. You'll find her corpse somewhere nearby the place, I think. But either way, let's take our leave all the way back. Please, take care of the vault. Please, take care of the vault. I will, Keesh. After I add some guns. What? It's better than nothing. Either way, let's go back to our home base and, um... Improve upon our power. Improve upon this new jumpsuit that now we can upgrade fully. And it'll be a much better armor because, well... It Makes us stronger against schools. Yay! And one more thing, we also get access to all Vault Tech related shit now in our settlement. Here. See, now we can use the Vault stuff over here.
if that means I can act. I wonder if that means I can actually make the um, vault tech super core. <gasps> yes, I can! <laughs> oh, gods, imagine me just getting my hands on one of those. And this. <laughs> I'll never have to worry about power again. Is it overkill? Absolutely. I don't. I definitely do not need like 500 power. In fact, maybe I'm not even might not even build it at all. I mean, this thing alone should do really. Either way, we'll save the super reactor for the vault. And for now. Now it is a superior vault suit. My Even though it's called the Vault Legend of Vault 88, change this number to 111. I guess we'll keep the wood here, because it seems like there's really no need for wood at a vault. Okay, now we can finally move on with the Automatron DLC also. Never fear, sir. I will ensure your safety to the best of my ability. I trust you're enjoying my company. You and I make quite an effective team. Kind of annoying actually with this damn thing. Wonder if anything from the Voltec workshop can help. Kidding me, not even any of the supports were able to help.
may have found my solution. Maybe. Just gotta see if I get them to squeeze together. But it doesn't mean I can improvise something. Cause I want this to look like it at least has some sort of freaking... Uh, there has to be a better one than this, though. that won't work either.
that thing doesn't want to work, apparently. Oh yeah, you can make that. <sighs> well, nothing is gonna work. It's astounding how much we still have to discover out here. Indeed. All systems are a go, sir. I must have... Would you like me to go with you? Time to hit the road. Wonderful. I look forward to traveling with you. Guess he's just gonna have to be nothing under the house unless I come up with something. Like what? Outstanding structures that just go. Oh, that could actually work. Hang on. Let's see if that could work. It'll obviously cost more materials, but it'll be worth it if you can make it look good.
knowing what I was about to. Literally right when I was freaking. <sighs> really, dog? Get out! Get out! Get out of there, you damn! Thank you.
to a friend on Discord server. Might change all these outer caps. Get out is harder than it looks. I really want to continue building this house, but I'm not too sure. Building mm. the house is so hard. Why can't they make it easier? I mean, vault just design like some fancy new house building thing or whatever.
I need to figure out something, but I guess for now I could just say that I built it from the side of the building. I guess. Sure. I think we're gonna do enough. That's enough of this for now because I'm just making more of a mess and wasting materials I don't need to waste. We'll figure out something eventually. For now, let's see this incomplete structure and. It's not what you call it, fully upgraded yet. I still need to add one more explosive vent, and I think deciding on adding rusty knuckles. feeling when I regret opening this.
Yeah, as you can see, long story short, there's a new threat to the Commonwealth. These mother freaking robo brains. Hey. What can I do for you? Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. Remind me how this beacon will get us closer to tracing the mechanist's signal. Each RoboBrain's radar beacon has unique encryption so that it can't be traced back to the source. However, acquiring two additional beacons should provide me with enough data to break the code. So if my theory is correct, this beacon will help us trace the mechanist's signal. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another RoboBrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. So, where exactly is the last RoboBrain located? Yes. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The RoboBrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Who or what? Rust Devils. Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? Fort Hagen Satellite Array. Wasn't I there once a long time ago? Oh no, I haven't even been there once. Well, time to make our badger ass go in there. That satellite array has never been there before. I'm sure it is. Well, oh, and by the way, we get a unique power armor too, or at least power armor pieces. This, oh yeah, I got a jetpack finally installed. with this sunlight. Damn. Well, that did lots of damage to my legs. Shit, that did a lot of damage to me.
my armor is so damaged right now. I got like half the armor almost mostly broken. Let me get up there, you stupid power armor. so overly patriotic it's just like oh god I love that power armor My power is not shapeless. Fuckers have traps left and right.
Well, that'd be one way to die, I guess. See if I can make any repairs to my power armor right now. Nope, I can't. Great. Gonna have to work with what I got. That suit should tip the balance of things in our favor. how people just casually have tanks here, yet nobody ever bothers to try and restore them. Just imagine raiders coming up with this shit, though. I mean, it'd be bad for us, but... Still.
it looks like this dude wanted to have one last trick before he went kick the bucket. I screenshotted that if you're wondering. This is that moment where I wish I brought my fat man, but, hey.
Okay, we're back. Just had to deal with me some deal with something. I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Okay, we're gonna need uh stim pack. this little guy here. <laughs> Area secure, approach and I did 
sanctify yourself. Law-abiding citizens will not be harmed. Did you hear that? Over here! You really are taking the path of most resistance here. Assault rifle actually use. Warning. System failure imminent. Service. Rift Jeep is in my inventory.
Are you kidding me? those Tesla parts. Hey! Why is this fucker keep getting in the way? be a fun weapon to use. Literal Assaultron head. Uh, it ir irradiates the user. That doesn't sound fun. Okay, where's... There's... Look alive. Hope you find what you're looking for. Almost everything on my armor is broke.
Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Yes, sir? Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about them, Ada? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo-brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The robo-brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Interesting. Fuck it all. I'm gonna need to find another way to do this.
Dumbass. What the fuck are you doing on my bed? Hey, get off of my bed, you fucking... What are you doing in my bed, Nick? Nick. Get the fuck off. Get your own damn bed, you bitch. Time to hit the road again? Get back to the hunt for Eddie Winter? Not now. Well, I'll be around if you change your mind. Well, how about you stop sleeping in my damn bed, you bitch? That's a nice little setup. I wonder you mind one of these at the agency. Doing on the hunt for Eddie Tapes. Really? You're gonna ask me that right now? I'm still searching for them. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on them. Now, can I get back to work? Of course, I'm um, just straight up out of aluminum. Okay, folks, I think we're going to call this great stream for now. Next time, we will continue building on um, Jizimul. Sorry, this wasn't really much of a stream. It's... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Lane. No, that's it, really. I should really use this thing more. I just want to get a Tesla cannon. Let's see what the Tesla rifle does before we go, though. I don't even recall ever using it even my first playthrough. Why did I go downstairs? I can't remember. It's the third floor. Also, I want to craft a... Uh Yeah, I mean somewhere. 
Oh, that's a weapon. See how it works like this. My systems are continuing to function at peak efficiency. I think it works better as a weapon like this. Yeah, like a shotgun. Okay, I think we'll call it a stream for now. Talk to y'all later. The tree out.